Hey, hey guys. guys! So before we start this video, we do want to give a quick trigger warning. Uh, we talk about uh, a surgical procedure that me and a guest had on this episode. So just want to let y'all know before that because we do talk about our details into the surgery. So lots of blood, lots of just a little gory-ish things that we want to address beforehand to let y'all know tw body tw females tw right. annoying girls oh so yeah enjoy the video thank you guys bye, bye. hey what's up you guys welcome back to the pod Yay. welcome to blabber nation no that's not no oh that's not no that's not yeah that's not it okay okay um clearly i'm new oh yeah (laughs) Yeah, clearly clearly. yeah we're actually blabbermouth is gonna be a three-person podcast oh girl bye no it's not oh Oh. (laughs) we need time for me to yap oh okay we need space for me no i'll let you yap in doses oh (laughs) (laughs) okay Okay. hello welcome back to the pod (laughs) We have a very special guest today, as you yes. can see. Our very first guest. Everyone, welcome. Snake Da. Snake Da. Snake Da is here. Snake Da. She's here. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, we should right. probably talk about who Snake Da is. Okay. Her, her lore. Do you want to say right. how you know me first? Because you knew me before you knew her, obviously. That's true. Okay, go. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, go. Yours. okay so like basically <laughs> we met at work <laughs> great story <laughs> oh my god crazy <sighs> um so yeah we met at work and then you know just one thing led to another and um now you're on the pod now we're, now we're on the pod oh. now she's on the pod <laughs> she's stealing my light <laughs> oh. I'm, just kidding, I'm just kidding yeah um, why are you yeah. here oh. oh okay this was sister podcast first before she showed up that's well, true, that's true. But I did want guests on the podcast, like, since the beginning. Yeah, like, I, I didn't, did, but guess. here we are. Oh, oh, like, you oh, mean you family. going to be in the, the whole... Drag thing. queen! You thought it was going to be a trio. <laughs> <Yeah. Drag queen. laughs> you thought it was going to be a trio. Oh. Mm-hmm. Get, get it? Cause yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right, 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 right. Okay, no one understands what we're saying. <laughs> that's the thing. If you're... I know you don't... I know you're so lost. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's how... Snigda and sister know each other. Yeah. How long have you been working with me? How long May. have you been? Since May. Well, okay. last May. Okay, so it's almost been a year. That's good. Woo-hoo. Oh my god, a one year anniversary. One year anniversary. Mm-hmm. Okay, sister, how did you meet Snigda? Um, I came into the <laughs> your job <laughs> one and morning and sister had already told me previously, like, oh, I met this really cool girl at work, like, you should meet her. So I walk in the store, their job or whatever. And I was like, hey, like, I'm Alex or whatever. And then, like, we say hi to each other or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know how we get on the topic of, like, age or whatever. But I'm like, oh, oh like, g- guess my yeah. age. Yeah. <laughs> and then, guys, I'm, this didn't happen that long ago. This was, like, in the summertime. Yeah, this was literally summertime. I'm, I'm 17 now. I was 17 then. She, I was like, oh, my God, like, guess my age. Like, how old do you think I am? She was like, oh, like, 12. I was very the room distraught. Went, the room yes. went silent. The room went silent. Right. No, because she you're giving like you're giving like young energy. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't know if that's yeah. good. No, no, she, like, I'm sure she had like a beat fate <laughs> in a good way or a bad way. <laughs> What? I'm sure she had. I like don't a think I, in the summertime I wore. I just wear like a shirt and shorts, and I didn't really. Yes, wear makeup. that's right. You were wearing a shirt I and shorts wear, that day. Like I don't really wear makeup a lot as much as I do like in the wintertime than in the summer. So I don't. I think I did look young when I walked in, but I was like, yeah. babe, how do you think I got here? Like I drove myself then, here. Mommy didn't <laughs> just no, drop I, me off. I really didn't think about that. No, like, it was like, so <laughs> genuinely. I was like. What is, I knew I, I was I like, only, what is wrong with you? I was no, no, so no. mad. I only knew you for like a couple months and I'm like genuinely like I'm like what was going through her head when she said 12? <laughs> Bro thought I was 12. I'm 17 you guys. Like this is <laughs> and this isn't the first time this has happened so I let it slide. I was like okay, it's fine. A lot of people mistaken me for like 13 like or you like have, 14. Like in a good way like she has like a baby face. You know what I mean? Thank you. It'll serve me well yeah. in the future. That's what a lot of people say. Like when you're like 40 they're gonna be like yeah. you're oh, literally you're 12 yeah <laughs> you're, literally, you're literally a teenager like you're oh you're like 17 yeah and i'll be 40 right. and i'll mm-hmm. look good okay well yeah that's how we all met yes yay okay. yay Not i don't a- know if we should start transition into okay i haven't seen you in a minute yeah right so where did you go <laughs> so um i've been in seattle 
Right. And, like I went to go see Adol. Adol. Right. Who's Adol? And Adol's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, just, say, just say, talk about Seattle. Just say Seattle. Um, and so... <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever move there, to be honest. Like, views views are amazing. Like mm-hmm. Those stories? They look... Yeah. You were, like, literally, like, in another world. No, like, it was it was really fun. And I almost feel like it was fun because my best friend lives there. Mm-hmm. So we went, like, tubing, and, like, we saw downtown, and we went to Pike Place, and I caught a fish. I saw that. Do you Girl, mind if we put that, was... that video on? Yeah, no, please. Right. Well, insert the, um, insert the, insert the clip right here. Oh, we got a catcher. We're close to the counter. <laughs> Hammer, hammer, say hi. <laughs> birthday girl, birthday girl, happy birthday. You're ready? Let's do it. <laughs> team, team for the birthday girl. Team, team for the birthday girl. <laughs> <laughs> But it was crazy because apparently they don't let people like catch fish on Fridays or just like randomly. Fridays, well, yeah. Why? I it's was only so on the weekend. What? Uh, I didn't even know they that only was do a it thing. on the weekend. Oh, I didn't either. But then yeah, catching a fish. But then someone told me before. Like, fishing? <laughs> like oh, no. She, have you seen the? Did you see her story or no? Nah, okay, don't we'll think show so. you it after. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so that was really cool. And um, if I sound a little sick, it's because literally we've been like hot to cold, hot to cold. Like That's we were true. in the snow and then like just doing normal things and like yeah but it was really fun i feel like you get a little bit of everything like you get Mm. some city you get some water you get some like mountains but Mm -hmm. very pretty nice did you get some swigs oh i did i did um where where did you go to for i went to or matcha i don't know which one coffee actually okay um the first one i went to was storyville coffee 10 out of 10 recommend i had a vanilla latte with coconut cashew milk that they make oh, in-house they make that what in-ho- <laughs> literally they make coconut it in-house it's so i'm good. not sure what these terms mean oh but, okay cool vanilla you don't latte, know <laughs> coconut cashew like, you know it's just too milk. much milk. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> continue <laughs> so um yeah we went to storyville coffee and then we went to i forgot the second one but sidekick coffee as well that one was okay I, like, ordered a latte, and it came in, like, an eight ounce. Oh. I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Weird. That's not a latte. <laughs> is, is a <laughs> latte a 12 ounce? Yeah. Okay. Or, is, or it's more, 12 ounce or, or Okay, taller, I'm not a barista. Yeah. I'm oh. sure a lot of baristas. Like, if I like wanted a cappuccino. Yeah. Literally, what yeah, would the cappuccino set. size be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a four yeah. ounce? You, you get yeah. air. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. sorry, we don't have that here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would pro- they would probably... Yeah. They would probably <laughs> serve it in the same size cup. I feel like they would do that. They would serve it in the same and be like, "Oh, it's a cappuccino," you know, literally. And then yeah. she'd be like, "Oh, this is also." And it a wasn't. Latte. It wasn't like Katie when that happened. It wasn't like. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't good to be honest. Yeah. Okay, not like I feel like okay. If you haven't followed me yet, my yeah. um thing on Instagram is Snigs and Swigs. Oh, not the self promotion. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's know. what I told her. I was like, she should self promote. Okay, yeah, we'll, her we'll put her link well, in the bio. We will. We will. Right. Instagram. Yes. Yes. Snigs Insert and link Swigs. Here. Yes. Snakes and Swigs. I thought I genuinely thought that that handle's name was Snakes, Snakes with, with Wigs, wigs. <laughs> and nobody corrected me until. <laughs> or I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't name drop, but until. Someone that we work with yeah. was like, I'm pretty sure it's Snigs and Swigs. No, and I was like, yeah. no, there's no way. Like, a a I real fan would was, know. Oh. Um, yeah, moment of silence for Gabs. <laughs> I, would know. I follow that account and I genuinely thought it was, I was like, oh yeah, Snigs with Wigs. That it's okay because I literally haven't posted in like forever. But oh. I you will. Should, you should have name. posted when you went to Seattle, to Seattle. I should Why didn't you? No, I have a lot of content. Like I have so your much IG content. story like always hits like I'm all, whenever I watch right. it I'm like this is low key like cine- the cinematography that's what is I was saying the cinematography yeah yes, that's why I was like those, yes. those her stories her, are always so yes good. very like aesthetic what phone pleasing. do you have <laughs> the 14 Pro 14 Pro okay that's it's good. not the newest one no but I'm sure but 
you get like really good pictures. You get, yeah, you I think you're just like good at taking photos and like right. the aesthetic oh is like so good. I'm I low key take notes. I'm like wait, I'm like because <laughs> I like to I like to make my IG story good too. Yeah. But like mine never comes out like yours. Oh like, what? No. <laughs> I feel like we're just I feel like we're just like three annoying girls like no uh, well, let's was, get to the content like I, c-o-n-t-e-n-t okay so oh. what we really invited snakes here for is to talk about a conjoined experience yeah. that they have both had I'm sweaty i <laughs> I have no, like, I, I can't yeah, really speak for the next really, part because yeah. I can't relate to such experiment, experience. Right, so. right, right. So right. something I never mentioned right. on this podcast because I was saving it for, like, a specific episode. And then, yeah. like, I was going to, like, talk about this by myself because I, I, we hadn't really talked about it yet or we weren't, like, close enough at, the, at that point. But I was like, oh, like, I want we should have, like, a day where we talk about this on the podcast. And it was that two summers ago not last summer but the summer before i got a breast reduction that was very much needed and wanted and and so worth it even though it was a really big like pain to go through because i didn't just have a breast reduction i also had liposuction and it was a lot on me at the time because i it took me like a month and a half to recover um but Snig, Snigda, or Snigs, also had the same surgery. She also had a breast reduction a month ago, or two months ago. A month ago. Yeah. So how was that? What was your experience like? Honestly, I, I really think that I had a really good doctor, and mm-hmm. I feel like that really just changes the game. Like, I had almost zero downtime. Like, I got the surgery, and I was like up and at them you know like I I could shower myself I could you know like I mean obviously like there are some things you can't do like um you can't drive yourself and like it like you can kind of gauge for yourself like what you can do and what you Mm -hmm. can't do but um I didn't get lipo though yeah so I think so I feel like for you recovery time is like a lot more Mm -hmm. right um but um (laughs) Yeah, so I feel like, honestly, like, it was, it didn't feel any different, I guess. Like, I, mm. it felt like I had a surgery, right? but it wasn't, it didn't affect my, like, day-to-day as gotcha. much. Mm-hmm. Um, Sorry, remember when wait, you, Snakes and I just interlock toes, and I'm, that's why I'm, oh. I'm not laughing at what she's saying, guys. <laughs> interlock? We interlock so toes. Like, oh. oh. Awkward. They but can, you can't see. Okay, they can't see my toes. Not for right, free. Yeah. Not for free. <laughs> <All> <laughs> right. Continue to um remember when you told me that they like put you under anesthesia and then you didn't realize that you had this yeah surgery? no like so <laughs> <laughs> how does that even explain, happen no dog? please explain no the okay story. let me just let me just get into detail so it was the morning of my surgery i am like really excited i i'm nervous but i'm excited and i get there and the nurse is like doing all the like paperwork and stuff and like we change or whatever i'm like taking selfies in the room like <laughs> insert selfie here <laughs> do you have a picture of like you and the in the gown and the gown yeah okay well enter picture here yeah if that's okay but um i'm like i'm having so much fun and the nurse was like well this is one of like the cooler surgeries or whatever like well, or cool. like the cooler the cooler <laughs> surgery like a good day for yeah them. like a like good day yeah, yeah i mean like yeah. you wouldn't want to be having like oh like a kidney surgery. yeah yeah you wouldn't be <laughs> that yeah. wouldn't be fun yeah so <laughs> cooler <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah i'm like yeah i know that's why i'm here yeah. but um yeah so then, like, I remember the anesthesiologist yeah, yeah, yeah. came in, and um, he was like, you're going to feel a little, like, woozy or whatever. And, you know, I was doing fine. I was yapping away. And um, then all of a sudden, like, I just remember they took me into, like, a, a room, and they made me switch beds. And mm-hmm. I was, like, halfway through switch, like, I was moving myself. Mm-hmm. And then I was out. Mm -hmm. that's all i remember like i literally was out and then were they moving you like you were already in the surgery room i think so yeah okay they were moving me to like the other bed bed. yeah the surgery bed and they were like oh can you move yourself and i'm like yeah don't worry about it (laughs) and i'm like halfway i remember like because they gave you they gave you the cocktail already yes the cocktail yeah yeah 
they like use such funny words yeah right i know um, <laughs> they said cocktail and I was like, or they're like margarita yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think they're like just that. trying to lighten the mood yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. right right yeah. <laughs> okay and then and then so yeah so then i was like out and then i wake up in like a normal room and i'm like thinking that like honestly I, i'm thinking that it's like still like happening mm. and then the nurse is like to the left of me and she's like hey good morning i'm like hey and then i'm like i look down i'm like no one's no one's around me and she's like how are you i'm like are we done <laughs> I'm like, wait, are we done? And she's like, yeah, like you're you're done. I'm like, no, like are we are we like done? done. Like are we done? done? Like wait, are we done? Like I keep asking her. And she's like, girl, yeah, we're done. Like she's like so done with me. But I'm like, I didn't even know. Like <laughs> that's no, crazy. Like, with the surgery. Yeah, no, that's what I said. I'm like, no, like with the surgery. Like are we done? Like wait, are, like are they done? Because like they still look. Swollen. yes yes you know they're I mean? still swollen they're probably even bigger than they were yeah. like you know what i mean she's so tired of me and then she's like do you want something to eat i'm like i could eat <laughs> no way yeah no freaking way yeah and so she was like giving me all these options like oh. she was like do you want crackers do you want chocolate pudding i was like chocolate pudding girl you know all me right, yeah right. and so i ate it up like right. it was so good i'm sure it hit yeah no i asked for like three to take home oh, oh. my god <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah honestly yeah take advantage of that <laughs> i'm yeah. like um and then and then i asked her one last time i was like wait like there's sure? nothing else like i'm going she was like yeah you're right you're good to go home i was like that's wait crazy. go home that's crazy and i was i was like up i walked yeah like how long after the you were walking what? yeah how long after like you had just first woken yeah, up I guess did you, you leave like 30 minutes like you woke up and then 30 minutes later they were like you can leave or what no like it was like two minutes oh <laughs> They said you're good to go. That's and you the two minutes was me asking if we were done. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, dang, that's no. Fast. What about you? Did you? Oh, it was not. It was <laughs> not. Oh. You. That's not. Yeah, your experience was like way more painful. Like, cut the mic. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Cut the camera. <laughs> cut the cameras. Yeah. Yeah. I so it was similar. Like the so they gave me the funny thing is I never remembered even making it to the actual operation room. Like they didn't even take me out of like. Like, so there's, like, kind of, like, a room with, like, different curtains, and they put you in, like, a little, like, curtain cubicle, and then they roll you out of the curtain cubicle and into the hallway and then out some other doors where the surgery is. I didn't even make over to the doors. Like, they put me the cocktail, and then they're rolling me out, and my dad's like, bye, and then my mom's like, bye, and then that's the last thing I remember was them just saying bye. Like, I didn't even mm. make it. Yeah, I, they didn't even, even, they didn't even put the actual anesthesia in me yet. Mm. and so then i wake up and i'm like super like disoriented and nauseous i was so nauseous <coughs> oh that really got her yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry anyways i was super nauseous and i could barely like get up like because i they're like oh like you need to eat something and they brought me applesauce and i literally did not want to eat the applesauce i was like so nauseous i was like i don't want to eat this and they're like no you have to you have to eat it like you have to eat it like eat it like eat it eat it now <laughs> yeah and then they start yelling at you and they're like we're gonna reverse the operation we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna put it back we're gonna put it back <laughs> yeah and then you had and then you were forced to eat the applesauce right yeah that's exactly right. what happened yeah. <laughs> and then they're like okay like bye <laughs> get out of here they're practically like okay you're done like let's get up uh, off of the bed and i literally i like get up because i'm like laying down right and then i get up and i'm like oh. no. <laughs> i'm like i'm like this i'm literally like dizzy and like and they had to bring me a chair why didn't they wheel you out? They did wheel me out. Oh, they did. Okay. That they brought me a chair, like the like the royal wheelchair. the wheelchair. They okay. brought me a wheelchair. But they made you stand up first before the wheelchair got in the room. No, I mean the wheelchair okay. was there. I, I don't remember, but <laughs> yeah, it was fine. But I mean, I had to get up out of the chair to get on, get up out of the bed to get on the wheelchair. So that whole thing, I was like literally like dizzy and like nauseous, and so all the movement made me want to like throw up, oh. um, and then. I get wheeled out and then into the outside of the hospital, get into the car. Uh, I think the car ride was fine, but it was, like, really difficult. Like, they were, like, they told me I can't um, stay in the bed for too long. I can't lay down for too long because then my temperature would go up. I don't know how that works, but 
laying down for too long would raise my temperature. Um, and so then I would practically get a fever. So I had to keep, I have to keep walking around, like get up, walk around, get up, walk around. And walking around was obviously making me nauseous. Wait, so what, what was the timeline? So you could rest. Oh, sorry. You could rest for how long? And then like, like, I I don't like, what do you mean the timeline? Because like, I, I just rested. You know what I mean? Mm. Like. I didn't have to. The thing is, I was so tired that, like, all I wanted to do was lay in bed. Yeah. And they were like, you can't do that. Like, you have to. I think it's because you can't. The blood has to flow. Right, right, right. So. You also had two surgeries. Let's keep this in mind. Yeah, I did have two surgeries. But I did not think that I was going to go through so much pain. Mm -hmm. Like, I had no idea. And Was it just here? Like, was it just localized? Or, like, was it, like, full body? Did it feel like full body? It was. Oh, shoot. I don't remember. I think it was just the lower abdomen for me. Uh Uh-huh. I don't remember. I genuinely don't. But, yeah. Oh, oh, and then under under my, like, armpits, like, right here. Oh, yeah. Because they had to take out fat from, obviously, the breasts and then fat that was right here because it wouldn't look right if there was just, like, fat here Mm -hmm. and then, like, the boobs were so small. Um, also, trigger warning for, yeah, like... I was gonna like, say trigger warning for... Like, surgery and blood and whatever. I don't know, but... TW surgery. TW surgery. Yeah, TW... TW body. TW body. TW, yeah, TW woman's bo- body. Yes, <laughs> yeah, literally. Yes. Well, right, right. TW I'll put on it the in screen. The, I don't know. I'll put it somewhere. We'll probably put it before the episode, too. We should do it Maybe. Before, so. Okay, whatever. It. Um, so... They had to put drains which i'm confused to why they didn't give you drains but i know some surgeons do and some surgeons don't yeah the drains they put drains on the side of me i'm like trying to remember so was it draining yes it was draining it was like liquid blood so there so was it was, like it was little, red yeah it was red it was like a light pink light red it was scary to look at it was scary to look at and my mom had to we had to measure it and write down the time and write down how much came out of me what in the world? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. I don't. That. I'm like, did we have the same surgery? No, <laughs> because no, that's why I'm saying like every surgeon does their own yeah. thing. Every surgeon does their own thing, and every surgeon has their own method and everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like okay. So anyways, <laughs> I remember when you came home, you were like not doing well. Yeah, I, I was, was pale. Like, we had like yeah, she was really? super was pale. pale. She was in a... Because the operation room was really cold, so, like, your throat was hurting, you said? Oh, no, no, no. It was because of the tube. And the tube, too. The tube, you had oh, the tube, Oh, yeah, yeah, too. I had your the tube, too, yeah. yeah. But um, you looked really pale, like, sickly. Mm-hmm. Oh. And, like, you were, like... you. I remember you started to cry. And, I did? Like, oh. Yeah, you cried at, at some point, because you were just, like, feeling so, like, strange. Like, your body was, like, obviously going through something that it's <laughs> never felt before. So no. you started to cry, and then you got very upset. And um, I, remember I remember we I brought you like really funny cards and you were like laughing. Do you remember that? <laughs> and then I also brought you balloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had it was like, really sweet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll yeah. bleep that out too. She brought me. Say who? Like your boss? Yeah, my boss brought me. What did she bring me? Oh, she gave me like a DoorDash gift card or something. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, yeah I was like, oh, she that's knew so it was awesome. up. Yeah. yeah, and then I had a friend that brought me cookies, and I was so sweet. Yeah. Aww. Um, and then I got flowers from my mom's friend. From yeah. my mom's Everyone friend. was really from nice family about friend. it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it was so sweet. Mm-hmm. Would you do it again? Would you get a surgery like that again? I don't think so. <laughs> no, really? yeah. I was thinking about it today. I was like, would I get lipo again? And I'm like, I don't think so. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's-, that's the only thing I would get done again is lipo. Like, I don't really see me getting anything else done. Maybe, like, something in the face. But I'm like, no, I don't really need to yeah. do that. Yeah. But the now I'm, I'm going to ask the same question to you. Would you get anything else done or would you get Honest, something done? Like not related to this? Like just, just anything in general? Yeah, just anything in general. I feel like... I'm getting the questions too. I feel like this was like the one thing that I felt was bothering me. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Just body wise. Because it was literally giving AirPod. Like not even <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm being so clear, like AirPod. Yes, yeah, like, so like, it was literally giving AirPod, and like it was just. I feel like it. <laughs> yeah. It really just helps with like confidence, and also, yes, it it really, it was really hard to. Um, I don't know if these two are related, but 
I have really weak knees Mm -hmm. and that just did not help with my knees like at all. Like there was a lot more weight on my knees and I had to handle like just a lot more like upper body. Yes. Um, and I've definitely like, it's made it easier to like work out. It's made it easier to like do a lot more things. And like, I love playing dress up. Yes. And like, I, there's like, I feel like it was so hard to find things that didn't make them look humongous. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. And like, I feel like someone smaller can wear the same top and someone bigger can wear the same top and the person who's bigger like they're like oh my god look at that like you know like yeah. it's so much more obvious mm-hmm. and i hated that feeling because mm-hmm. like honestly felt like everyone was looking down here instead of at my face yeah so i feel like in that way it definitely helped i don't know if like i want like any other surgeries per se mm-hmm. um but if i like were to get anything done i really 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 think it's the doctor like i Mm -hmm. like i loved him he like the follow-up like the way he treated it he was very like just like straightforward about what was Mm going to happen and like that's exactly what happened and like there was like no kind of like i don't know like i honestly didn't even feel like they gave me meds after surgery right yeah um and i didn't take them because i didn't have Mm. any like pain that's crazy it was just like so it was like tender yeah but i didn't take any like i think i took it for one day Mm -hmm. but then the medicine actually gave me headaches instead Mm -hmm. um so it wasn't helping so i like completely got off it and i was fine yeah so yeah girl i was on the med yeah Yeah, like you were drunk your experiences are very different yeah Yeah. but i mean i think everyone's body is different yeah yeah i think the the same way that she felt though is similar to yours about like obviously there's like you know like when you have something on your chest like it weighs down on you like oh yeah like my posture yeah yes posture has improved my posture has improved so much no like have y'all seen those tiktoks where like they're like oh like someone's gonna hit on me i like the coffee shop but like yeah, your you're side like, views like literally yeah. like that's like, like literally me going like, everywhere yeah 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 no that's literally me yeah. it's like it's also i noticed that it's also easier for me to stand up straight like because yeah. because there's just so much weight that that's what's yeah. like bringing you down whereas like and obviously like because i'm not used to standing up like this all the time it's gonna hurt a little bit but it used to hurt me more yeah. like, before yeah. the surgery. It was like it was like painful to stand up straight. Mm-hmm. It was like literally like I don't want to do this. Like I just want to bring my shoulders down. I, yeah. Obviously that's not good and which is also causing me like I also have a bunch of back back problems, but the fact that like getting so much like weight off of your the your chest has really like helped you or helped us. Mhm. Like, just, like, um, ease the pain. Just ease the pain, yeah. literally, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, yeah, I I mean, I don't know how it, how they did it for you, but for me, like, since I went through insurance, mm-hmm. it was, like, a certain number of grams that they could take off each oh, breast. Oh, okay. Which was really cool. Gotcha. Um, did, I didn't know. Was that how it... We... Know? They didn't take insurance. <laughs> so, they were, like... Really? Yeah, they were, like, you can't, like, use your mm-hmm. insurance for this operation because it's plastic surgery technically Mm -hmm. and so we try to make a claim that like it's literally causing me back pain Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like this is like something that like i need to do and they said no that's crazy yeah because i feel like you mostly did it because of the pain in your body yes but also i was like i just don't like how i look yeah i hated how i look and now yeah there's so much clothes like there's so much more that i can wear now than i couldn't wear before i totally agree yeah like like even the things that i do like i had in my closet Mm -hmm. like fit me better yes 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 so it's i like i would recommend but i would also recommend just doing your research about which doctor you go to Mm -hmm. just like scout like Mm -hmm. you know very true. Do you know how much weight they took off of each? Breast? Yeah, it was four thousand grams. Four thousand grams. I, have or four, I don't know what that means. How much I, is or, that? In or pounds? maybe four hundred. I don't know. Oh, girl. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was four something. Oh. But um, it was about two pounds. Girl, what? <laughs> Wait, oh, is that bigger? In each? Um, in both, like 
combined total, together. Total, total. Oh, so okay, like okay, a pound okay. off each. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that crazy. was that was like minus yeah. two. Yeah. Okay, like, okay. That's normal. It was okay. like point seven mm-hmm. or point yeah. eight. I don't remember. Yeah. Pounds. I was like, what? <laughs> two I, pounds like, each is crazy. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> two pounds. Like, I was gonna say. I was like, total. Like, they would be flat. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like two pounds total. Like it was. I can't remember that. It was four something. Yeah. Grams, but um. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say something. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. What, what what size were you? Oh, before? that was that's okay, okay. okay. That was what I was gonna say. I was an H cup girl. H is crazy. I, I didn't even know never. what that was. Like no, me neither. I, I didn't know literally, what existed. yeah, I didn't even know it existed. And so I went from an H, and I think now I'm either I'm between like a D or a double D. Mm-hmm. I think that I don't know exactly what size I was back then because i was technically wearing the wrong bra like i was wearing a mm. double d or whatever is the highest that normal stores have yeah and then still spilling like spilling from here oh yeah and so i think i was probably like a g or an h cup like around you i was an h and still spilling yeah girl yeah oh my god and like they took i don't know if they took like pre-op pictures for you they did but yeah i've never seen i've never seen them i mean oh, I, can, really? I can like look at old photos and like so the, they, they basically take like the pictures of like the straps yeah. of your bra too to see if they're like sinking in to your oh. skin um and then they take pictures underneath to see if there's any scarring and i had both like oh. from like i had like girl it, yeah what? it was like hyperpigmentation like underneath oh. from like the underwire oh and, like, you know what i mean because yeah. you're like trying to hold that's them up crazy yeah it's crazy and that's then, crazy wait let me show you i gotta show you i don't know have you seen pictures of me before you have You've seen yeah. pictures of them, of them a bear, <laughs> bear like T W T W, but they were like humongous jungus. Girl said humongous jungus. <laughs> wow, they're huge, girl. Mm-hmm. Wait, there's yeah. another one. I took one before the like the night before the surgery, mm-hmm. and like I was wearing just a normal shirt, but I was like, I f- but they look huge. Yeah, they were like big. Yeah. I feel like that I mean, did you feel that too like how people would just look there and not like when they're talking to you or was that just something I noticed? Mm, because honestly, I like know. I hate to compare, but yours were definitely big, bigger. I don't know, girl. Yours is also we're also big. I <laughs> really? I agree with both statements. I don't I can I don't know which ones were I cannot yeah, compare. That's true. Honestly, I cannot well, compare. Bigger like, <laughs> <laughs> well, bigger than now. Hopefully than now, yeah. Right. But right. yeah, no, it's it definitely helps with, com- I mean, confidence for yes, sure. Yes, yes, yes. But. That is yeah. so true. I literally, like, that's why I wore a lot of, like, oversized things, I would mm-hmm. say, before. Mm-hmm. And, like, I wanted to wear, like, tighter clothes. But it was, like, it, number one, didn't make me, like, I just did not look good in there. Yeah. Like, it just did not look flattering. It didn't fit. Like, it's so tight up here and it's so loose down here. And it was just, like, so uncomfortable. And now, like. I can wear, like, things that are a little bit more tight-fitting, which is what I usually like to go for. Um, so it's great. And I'm, I'm happy with the results. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a double D now, too. Mm-hmm. So you're, you say you're double D, right? Yeah. Twins! I, I don't think you're done healing. Like, I still think I that, am. But, I mean, not, not done healing. Well, like, like, I think that they would, they're probably still shrinking. <laughs> shrinking? Oh. I'm like, next month I'll probably be a C then. I don't know. <laughs> I still think that, like, it takes time for it to, like, yeah. it's completely been, heal. It's been, like, a month and a couple weeks. Yeah. So, I I would say, like, outside appearance, they've healed completely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But I don't know if... And they don't yeah. seem swollen. Like, I work out fine. That's Just, crazy. You're, you're like, like, do you, like, have you, ha, do you go out and run, in, run yet? Have um, you gone out for a run? I don't run in general. Oh. <laughs> okay, what kind of workouts do you do then? Like, I what kind of, like, like, jumping stuff do you do that, like... Jumping stuff? Like, that have you have you done? I, I try know, to you... stay away from jumping stuff now. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was like, do you yeah. do all that? <laughs> no, no, no. I do, like, normal, like, Stairmaster. Treadmill, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, group workouts, you know, mm-hmm. like, Pilates. Pilates, yeah. What Very you... slow. I don't usually do HIT though. Gotcha. You know okay. what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't yeah, do, yeah. like, high-intensity stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah i would say right. would you like now that you've gone the surgery like start running more or do more I yes 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 i was gonna talk about this i mm-hmm. don't think i would i don't think i'm a high intensity girl in general mm-hmm. okay but still do you feel like when you go to the gym like do you feel like more comfortable doing workouts because like usually oh when yeah you're, like that's what i was saying yeah it's like now i feel more inclined to work out because yes, yes. like i would sweat everywhere 
Yes. I, like, I would sweat here more than anywhere. Crazy. Like, all around. Like, it was, cr- like, I was putting <laughs> deodorant. Not relate. Like, around. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, I mean, no, for real. Yeah, like, yeah, no, no, no. it was really bad. You, yeah. Like, and it made, it, like, didn't make me want to work out. And sports yes. bras, like, that's a whole nother thing. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, like that, I yeah. never found a good yeah. sports bra. I've never They were literally, it was giving uniboob, literally. Like, it, uniboob. One, like, it literally, they were, like, literally <laughs> Just together. one. Yes, 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 yes. It's just, like, one Yeah, big it's just, like, one slab. <laughs> On your chest is crazy. No, I feel that. I feel it's that. Crazy. Right. She's like, I relate. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> okay. She's like, right, right. Wait, let me, let me speak my truth. Let me speak my truth. What's your truth? Although I cannot relate to these experiences at all in any way, shape, or form, I can relate to every time I run, like, if I'm not wearing a sports bra, I oh. do feel pain. Like, pain and i know like i you know don't I, no she, I do. you run without a sports bra sometimes? no i'm saying i'm saying oh. that like if i were to run like right now or whatever yeah. like yeah i don't know whatever do it's whatever it's just like the yeah the gravity they, they, like, they, they, it does hurt i like, think that's normal though i feel but a lot of people like get confused when i say that because they're like okay you like it doesn't look like that would happen to me like it would it no, doesn't look I like that's normal would feel pain. i think literally I think you could have normal. the smallest ones and they would it would it hurt. would hurt yeah, like, i guess you're supposed to wear a bra confused when mm-hmm. i oh. say that well they're, they're like i don't understand yeah, yeah. freaks freak yeah. so, yeah, have you every- ever had like bad encounters like before surgery like bad encounters with people like they would comment on that part of your body or no I don't know. Speaking as women. I feel like no one has, like, outright been like, you're built like an AirPod. You know what I mean? (laughs) Like, no one has outright, but that's what I meant. Like, they, I felt like a lot of them, or, like, if I would wear, like, if I would go out, you know, and, like, I would wear, like, a top, I feel like it was more prominent. Yeah. And, like, Mm. when I was having conversations with people, like, it wasn't, it was, like, it's very prominent that they're, like, there and, like, in your face, you know? Versus now, it's like. Yeah. I can wear that same top, and it's, it's yeah, it doesn't seem like You don't feel like you're weird. attracting yeah. attention. Anyway. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And not, like, that they're meant to do that. I think they're just sexualized like that, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it, it's normal, but, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't think anyone's, like, outright said anything mm-hmm. about it. But, like, you know, I feel like more than anybody, yeah. if it's, like... Yeah. That's why when I was, before my surgery, I just wouldn't wear any tops that, like, would accentuate that part of my body yeah so that's why i wore like bigger things or just like like baggier clothes baggier clothes so that no one could see that because then it just like i just i was like i can't and that's why it was so hard for me to go out and work out because i love to run like i genuinely love to run but i was like i it what was pushing me back from running was the fact that like literally you can literally see them like moving up and down like they were jiggly and they were bouncing yeah (laughs) and they were they were going up and down up and down and well at least in miami when i was living there like i didn't go to a gym or we didn't have like a community gym Mm -hmm. so i would go outside and run and it's like you know there's like like in the streets yeah Yeah. like on the streets of miami jumping with these honkers like i'm not gonna do that not chill Uh, yeah i will say like as a as a first gen getting something like this my oh, mom was yeah. like very very skeptical no like, way she, yeah my mom not that she like is always like that it, it was just something i think surgery is obviously a big word and it like scares a lot of people uh-huh. and for her it was like she didn't even know it was a thing mm. so i was telling her for like years that mm-hmm. this would help and like because i mean my mom could tell too and like people in my family obviously could tell um that it was hurting my back and my knees Mm -hmm. but she didn't even know it was an option and then I kept telling her and then finally like she was like okay let's just go see what it's about yeah Um, I'm glad that she was okay with it and your dad dad too yeah that was chill yeah I feel like though like it's it's not really talked about Mm because I think just immigrant parents are not used to yes I don't know just a lot of things like fashion tape she doesn't know about you know what i mean like it's just like things like growing up here that like are normalized Mm -hmm. that when they hear it for the first time it's like oh my gosh like you're gonna die like you know like it's like oh my gosh it's like a surgery i had a friend yeah from school who's from columbia that like when i posted on my story like oh i'm gonna get this surgery done she was like is that safe 
Like, where are you getting that done? Yeah. Like, what is that? Like, yeah. I've never heard of that. Exactly. And I was like, girl, what? I was no, like, those were all the questions my mom had. Yeah. And like, I, that's why I feel like doing your research for like a good doctor yeah. is important because they'll like sit you down and tell you the procedure. Mm-hmm. And my mom thought like that it would get in the way of like pregnancy and like, you know, having yeah. babies and mm-hmm. like stuff like that, which the doctor has to be like very yeah knowledgeable about it too and like be able to sit with them and like explain that stuff Mm -hmm. too so yeah they showed me videos they they like went in depth with the process like they were like yeah they did they basically gave us like like medical school like <laughs> they literally yeah. they practice so like you could go and do homework. the surgery yeah they're yeah. like you do it yourself <laughs> diy <laughs> DIY. <laughs> DIY breast reduction literally um i was gonna say something that i forgot yeah a lot of people um like a lot of doctors will be like oh you should like work out and like try like try to like be in the best shape possible before you get it mm, um yeah i don't really like I don't really think it makes a difference Mm. because like we were talking about, like sometimes it gets in the way of working out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like sometimes it's harder to work out like in that moment than like after. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So you're obviously satisfied with your results. I would assume obviously. Um, so what advice would you give other women that want to get the same surgery? I would say, don't be scared. Like, like, go in with an open mind and like if it's not for you it's not for you at the end of the day but like get all the information like you want to know about it Mm -hmm. and then if it's for you then go through with it but if not then i mean like if it's like really hurting your back i would i would recommend it for sure Mm -hmm. is my point of view but Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, it doesn't. It, 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 I mean, it, it, it kind of does. You, but, <laughs> I don't know about you, but <laughs> it, it really, like, I I think I took, I took precaution and I took, like, what, 20 days off work? But I was good in, like, yeah. even a couple days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. I know you kind of already talked about this, but like what else has do you think you can name that has changed in your life since your surgery? Working out. Right. Um my wardrobe. Yes, right. Right. Honestly, self confidence. Mm-hmm. Like they Loki sit so pretty, right. like <laughs> Yes, they're like perky. No, yeah, they're like perky. Right? Yeah. Yes. Um, my confidence. Um I feel like I don't notice it as much. Like in my day to day I'm like not like looking like not conscious about, about yeah, yeah 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 like it's it's like i don't even Very think about true. it anymore mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i would say that's what's changed and that's like good yeah mm-hmm. i would say honestly like my posture for sure just yeah true what about your sister what would you tell people <clears throat> going through like the same surgery oh um <laughs> i just did not think i was gonna ask you asked the same question um i would say yeah, do your research is, like, a really big thing because I, I would watch a lot of, like, YouTube videos on, like, other people that, like, did the same surgery. And so I got a lot of tips from them about, like, how to, like, just take care of yourself after surgery. So definitely recommend doing that. Like, go watch people's YouTube videos. I love doing those. They're like, oh, you should get a pregnancy pillow if you're, like... Like, I literally bought a pregnancy really? pillow because I was like, oh, like, maybe this can help me, like, sleep at night, yeah. help me be comfortable when I'm laying down. I didn't use it because I was like, I didn't really feel like I needed it, but for other women, maybe that would have been great for them. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely do your research. Um, make sure that you're also financially stable. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Uh, like it's gonna be a surgery it's gonna be in the thousands range but obviously i think there's a lot of doctors out there that um oh do no no no. The, my thing is go look go to several doctors don't just settle on one doctor because a lot of doctors will m- charge you a lot for a breast reduction and sometimes it's just like whoa like why are you charging me this much when another place can charge you way less for it also look at reviews on how your what your doctor is rated i always go on google reviews because that's just where i go but i like to look at reviews of other people's um procedures and they'll probably show you at the doctor's office their results of other women which is also great if you want to see those um yeah that's my advice 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. As far as like recovery too, like if you think you're eating protein, you're not, you're not getting enough. You're not getting enough. That was me. That was me. Yeah. When when I told you that I wasn't eating enough. Yeah. And my scars did not heal as quickly as they should have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as a third party member, (laughs) um, (laughs) she's like 10 out of 10. I'm like, yeah, 10 would recommend. Yeah. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Also, I think it's very important to have like a good support system yeah Agreed. because oh, it yeah. seems like the two of you had to number one convince your way into this because you both have like families and stuff like yeah. that but once you've convinced your way into having the surgery it seems like your families were both very like yeah. supportive yeah. and that's good make sure you have supportive yeah. people around you yes. who will like, yeah, take, take care, of, care you. of you because the healing process is the most important process of a surgery probably very true say. okay now i have to like thank my mom yeah. because my yeah. mom was like a real one throughout the yes, entire process she was. i don't know how much i'm sure your your parents hope oh you yeah as well uh-huh. yeah what, because... definitely my mom too like she that's the thing is uh, like i was up and showering but she was always like at yeah my yeah, beck yeah. and call you know like mm-hmm. she was like you she know ma- like making me dinner or like yeah. like feeding me you know like if i needed that fixing my pillows mm-hmm. but like my friends too like you literally showed up like twice at my door like right, you know what right, i mean like right. so yeah shout out to the moms shout yeah. out to mommy shout out to moms everywhere yeah. my mom was literally so real she helped me get out my dad too because my uh, my mom can't really carry me but my dad would have to help me get out of bed sometimes mm-hmm. and my, with my mom's help my mom would have to help me use the bathroom. She would have to help me shower. Like, she would obviously cook meals for me. So all of that was like, like, there's no one, there's no one more helpful or more loving than a mother. Yes. And she was there for me and she would help me with all my other things. She would drive me to the doctor's office, obviously. Mm-hmm. So thank you, mommy. Yeah, Love she's you, real. Mommy. And thank like you to all mommy. <laughs> yeah, yes. for real. Yeah. No, mom. Real. If you're watching mom this, appreciation. I yes, love you. Literally, because yeah, yeah, I saw my mom. Like also, our mom is like she like lives off of service for others. I feel that's true. She's a she's very serving person. A very serving person, and that is just such a good trait to have as a human being in general. Mm-hmm. Like not just moms, of course. Everyone should be serving of others and their friends and like the people around them. Yeah. Because like that is a supportive person and a person you want to keep in your life. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Right. 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 Oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now that you're done with your surgery, you say you're going to do the soft 40 diet. Bro, I'm going to do the red okay, 40 okay. diet. I'm going to do the red 40 yes, diet. The red 40. Yeah. Well, you're going to do the soft 40. No, because 40. what are y'all's thoughts on the chipotle? Chip- chip- oh, chamoy pickle. <laughs> chamoy pickle. <laughs> chamoy pickle kit. kit. Because we just ordered one. Coming very soon, we will Coming be doing a live review. Live about review. That. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. Um, but I do. I have been craving the chamoy pickle. No, especially with the, with I, the fruit roll up. Mm. Y'all are freaking the, boys. No, like, <laughs> oh, imagine the like the the, the flavor of the milk on my tongue. <laughs> Literally. My bad. I just love like sour, like like sour, like funky, like yeah. sour, like, like funky. funky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know the other things that come in the kit, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm scared it's gonna give me like chorro, like. <laughs> like yeah, you're gonna be farting all day. After that. Like, <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't even know what you said. I'm right I'll next to you. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> novice okay oh, okay so explain this oh weird, okay where's weird food she's thing. saying saw 40 it's literally <laughs> like okay f- first of all everyone i'm sure the followers know blabber nation knows 75 hard so basically 75 70, hard yeah so the actual challenge 75 soft yeah so the actual challenge is called 75 hard oh. where um you have to do two workouts a day one indoors, one outdoor. Girl. Oh, no. I'm done. <laughs> I could not do that. We shouldn't have started off with that. Hold on. Okay, so then crazy. a gallon of water. No. Oh. Ten pages of, like, a nonfiction book, like, reading. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, something okay like yeah. that. Um, so you were going to say, ten, like, write ten pages. I know. I was going to be like, girl, bye. Like, <laughs> what kind of, like, challenge is this? And then, like, a diet of your choice. Like, obviously something healthy. Yeah. So you're um, avoiding. Red you 40. said you're avoiding fast food. Yes. Because um, I wanted to. Well, get I'm not doing this. Today. I'm doing 75. 
<laughs> she was like, can we get I a candy hat combo? I wanted today so bad. I was okay, we'll go to the weekend. In my we'll boots. go on the weekend. And then Snake oh said, no, I'm doing this There's challenge. There's more days I in I said, the okay, week. girl, bye. So I'm doing 70, That this is 75 hard. And then I think you take like a progress picture every day or something. But what I'm doing is 75 soft, so, which is basically I made my own rules oh. to kind of train for 75 hard. Oh, Girl. I like this. This is this is a good mindset. Yeah, no. because I agree. And one of my so friends actually you... told me about it because I I feel like I've heard about seventy five soft, but I Are never you... looked at it in the way of like, oh, you're training to do seventy five hard. Yeah. So I felt like that was really cool because. So what is the difference then? What are you What are so you changing? Seventy five soft is like for seventy five days, and the seventy five days. Yeah, I would assume. Days. Yeah, I would assume. What I'm doing is one workout a day. Okay. Um, and that my diet is kind of like really like intricate i am limiting dairy and fried foods and mm-hmm. sugary foods okay and no red meat mm-hmm. um yeah that's mm-hmm. like the diet i'm choosing and then um i'm really bad at taking supplements so that's like part of my mm, same like, thing because like i have to take my supplements and i'm just really bad at taking them so that's like one of my rules um i'm doing like four because i have my little stanley I am doing four of these a day because that's why I measure. <laughs> what did we talk about the last episode? I know. I saw that. <laughs> okay, uh, but this, no, because I need a. can I talk about that? What? That, like, Stanley's are out and those Owala water bottles yes. are in. Yes. yes. Like, everyone at school has an Owala water bottle. Oh, and it is change? insane. It's not for me, though. Like, I was on the Hydro Flask one. I'm on the Stanley one. Owala's, though, I can't get behind. It's giving, like kindergarten water bottle oh well those are giving like monster truck transformer like <laughs> monster truck do you see the color of this? it looks huge though <laughs> giving no off the way. Prime. Okay, this is the 30 ounce this yeah. is it's like, giving this off is the, like the petite, the i don't even one. finish 10 ounces of water that's why i haven't okay, like maybe purchased. 75 soft is for you honestly yeah <laughs> Because you're, you're talking about it, I'm like, wait, why is this challenge low-key lit because Yo. i need to get on that i need to get yeah. on that that's well, scary like essentially i think like the mindset behind 75 hard is doing two workouts a day and like going overboard yes after 75 days you'll like maybe not do as much but you're kind of like trained to like at least do one workout or at least yeah. do half of that so also, i think i feel girl, like a lot of people well, wouldn't even get through a week of that challenge. my friend just finished um what? 75 hard <gasps> um the thing is with that too is i feel like you if you're working or if you're in school like your schedule really needs to work around that too because two workouts yes. a day like and one has to be indoors and one has to be outdoors that's what i'm saying i'm like you know that, what i mean like girl you like gotta girl be was out there no she was <laughs> girl yeah. if you want to do this yeah honestly she I, was walking girl, in the rain girl like, she I was, was you know what i mean like she was running walking in the she rain she was about it and that's not me like i can't like she was committed yeah. girl i would literally like i would drop out of school and i would drop out of work trust me i i'll do Six, 365 days hard <laughs> yeah, like, yeah i can do it just yeah. give me the time and the day yeah like. but they say it's like more of like a mental challenge yeah. more than anything mm-hmm. but that's why i feel like 75 soft like you can just kind of for 75 days make a routine that's obviously bettering your life mm-hmm. more than it is now and then maybe one day you can do like 75 hard but that's the mm-hmm. are you still reading too? can i do like 30 I'm, hard? my reading is like studying because i'm in school Okay, fair. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm not going to read 10 Why? pages of... I, I mean, like, I, read. I'm reading, but, like, that's not going to be, like, my, oh, read 10 okay. pages of nonfiction. I don't know. You should get on that's that. That's not though. nonfiction. You're doing... I have really good... Oh, wait, I can wait, wait, you borrow a book. Wait, you have... To, it has to be nonfiction? Yeah. Well, oh. 75 hard has to be nonfiction. Oh. Girl, bye. Never mind. I don't think yeah, it's not, like, any, like... Like book, like just Colleen read Hoover. like a biography. Yeah, just be just read yeah. like a biography or something. No, that's boring. But oh. you should do yeah. you should do uh ten pages of fiction because I have a lot yeah. of fiction books. And well, I can yeah, one. I also have a lot of fiction books. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like that. I can do. Yeah, why that I can that? stop studying and do. But yeah. can I do like thirty soft? Can I do? Bro, like at 10? that point, just just. <laughs> don't call it anything just <laughs> just do it like 30 <laughs> do like, like 10 songs now yeah. we're like now now like from 75 hard we've gone to like you're like can i do like three <laughs> can i do three soft? three days <laughs> yeah i could probably do three days i think but i, I, I don't think three I do soft more. would be like a challenge yeah me. that's like a challenge that's a lot for me like genuinely i yeah. don't do anything ever I, I don't look like i a person who does anything though so it's like the clock <laughs> it's the it's a it's, why'd y'all get quiet 
It's a. Do you see the little like cat up there? Oh, the cat. It's that. It's the for the. It's like. Okay, yeah. Well, respect for that, cause like yeah. I have so much respect for people who go to the gym or no, like for read every day or just like are on that grind set, because it is so difficult for me. I'm so on no, stick day two. That's I'm literally on day two. Okay, literally. But I yeah. hope you go through with it, and I hope it. Right. Swaps. I feel like right. it's easier. So in my mind, I'm almost like there's no reason why you can't. You know, yeah. like if it was 75 hard, I'd be like, yeah, this is hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But. Especially going from like, not really working out every single day to doing two workouts a day. That's like... A lot. A lot. It Way is. too much. It's yeah. a big change. That's why I'm like, how did that girl do running in the rain? Because I'm like, yeah. what if there was like a snowstorm or like a hurricane? Girl, like, they, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's my, like, my dilemma with these challenges, like, online. Because it's like so much. If you're going from a person who does nothing to doing everything all the time, you're going to quit in three, four days. You cannot... Mm-hmm. Do like it is I so feel like you have hard to have for a person to do that. That's why what you're it's doing possible, is smart. It's possible, but like you have to have so much commitment exactly. in that. But like you have him, yeah. Can I just get deep for a second? This sure. pod, this episode's probably gonna be so long. No. <laughs> can we just talk about like I I'm on TikTok. No. I you know love TikTok for what it is. It's an app. When where is the where is the line between like being influenced and like having your own personality and like getting to know who you are influenced or influencer right but like (laughs) i don't understand like what i'm trying to say is like 75 hard and like now there's like i I think y'all talked about it like the mob wife did y'all talk about it no oh that's giggly squad if you don't listen to giggly squad it's another good podcast (laughs) <laughs> not you promoting another yeah, podcast on our podcast. On ours? But that's like, oh. We're bleeping that whole thing out. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, like all the trends, like on TikTok, like, yeah. oh, clean girl aesthetic is out. Now yeah. it's mob wife era. Like, what, what are you mob- trying? Wait, what did you I've call never it? heard Why of are that. you, first of all, why are you trying to tell me what to do? Wait, what is it called again? My bad. Mob wife? Yeah, so it's like clean girl. You know how, like, clean girl was like slick backed hair, yes. like skin What is mob wife? So mob wife is like the big furry jackets, like, um, like oh, dirty bathrooms like yeah oh, like, literally not like dirty bathrooms wife. but like not really taking care of like i don't know like Maybe i'm not explaining this mob well. wife i know what you mean literally yeah like she like she's giving like she's standing on business she's yeah, standing you know on I mean? business that one like, <laughs> that one was good like that one was gonna last that's cool to humble you girl bye <laughs> Me saying girl bye to a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that to yeah. someone. Did I, say? I say that to my dad. I said that to my dad, yeah. too. Yeah. It's just being a girl dad. No, but, but I agree about the whole, like... <laughs> yeah, like, where, like... I just... Like, why are you deciding what's in? Yeah. Like, oh my god, that whole thing of ins and outs? That triggered me. Because I'm oh, like, wait, I'm gonna do, do that. what I, I want to do. That was our last episode. <laughs> like, 2024 uh, ins and outs. No, honestly, yeah, what we were talking about at work where we were... were you? The, yeah, you were there. Yeah. The, like, in positivity, out negativity. I'm like, girl, girl shut like, up. It's like, always the people that are negative saying that. Like, practice. Uh, like, mind your own. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I guess. Respectfully. Well, I love y'all. Like, <laughs> human to human, I love y'all. Yeah. But also... It's just it's it's a getting it's getting a little out of hand. Like no, it I is will say. all the trends and all the things that are in or that's out. why you see ten year olds at Sephora. Exactly, right, getting the drunk elephant. Right, <laughs> like so I have crazy. never even touched a drunk elephant I've never in my even life. Heard of a drunk elephant? <laughs> until I it was pop- I no, you've never elephant. seen like yeah, you've never, never seen, seen like an elephant, elephant like on the floor like drunk. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? Okay, yeah anyways that's one yeah that's understandable right. yeah i'm really passionate about that because you're like Hello? yeah it's like I, like when i was in middle school or like when i like growing up like i actually like had that space to like figure out at least for like a little bit like who mm-hmm. i am what i liked what i don't like yeah but I feel like kids now are like very influenced by mm, like what's around them true. like they oh, don't yes. i feel like they won't even get to do that they're like grown adults yeah very true because everyone's very much like forced to grow up quick now and yes but it's Mm. very much self-inflicted at the same time yeah Mm -hmm. because everyone says like i'm someone who's like i hate the trends but i also sometimes partake in these trends yeah so it's literally just a cycle it will never end Mm -hmm. and it's only gonna get worse unfortunately i'm like me with the stanley yeah yeah (laughs) i just i really do like 
wish we were more normal. Like I think, like, it's okay to have TikTok. It's okay yeah. to, like, like, I'm not saying that it's, like, the a we, bad thing. Yeah. I think but, when it comes, like, over-consuming, yes, right. it just, could like, be very... Just, like, know who you are, too. Like, you yeah. don't have to do something exactly. just because, like, right. someone is, like, oh, Doing this is what's it. in. Mm-hmm. Or, like, mm-hmm. you know? I hate that all the people in my school, like, once one person got a Stanley... Everyone else got a Stanley. Once one person got a Did you all see that woman that got arrested for having like 60 yes, Stanleys? Yes, I did. In her car? I did see that. <laughs> You're like, girl, what? what? She literally got arrested for having like 60 Stanleys in, in her, car. her car. I think yeah, she was she like selling them. them. She, oh. she like she stole them and then she was I'm like, girl, them. I'm like, where is she? What's her act? Because <laughs> if, if there's a discount, then I'm probably going to free my girl, girl literally. Yeah, because I'm the type where now that Owalas are trendy, I want to go buy Stanley now just to be annoying. Oh. <laughs> Like, let's, I will. Yeah, what? And then when they yeah. come back, because everything does come back, like right. I'm selling it. Around. I'll sell the Stanley. I don't want right. it anymore. You're right. gonna sell it when it comes back? Girl? Yes. I do not want to oh, be a part of oh, the trend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, that you're makes like, sense. I'm like, we... No, because you're like making money, like girl math. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah. Right. Sure, that's what I meant. Yeah. But right. yeah. Okay, it's like now what? <laughs> okay, okay, it's no. like now what? All right. Do you do you want to say anything else? Mm-hmm. Any think, more opinions? I think we can end it there. I think yeah, we can end it there. They're like, um, I think she, we've heard her in doses. Oh, you've heard me yapping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're yeah. yapaholic. I'm literally yapaholic. <laughs> yeah, you're giving Sir Yaps a lot. <laughs> I love that. Sir yeah, Yaps right? a lot, right? Made it up on the fly. <laughs> okay, okay. Because everyone keeps saying, "Oh, you need to call. You need to call your family's blabbies or like blabbermouthers." No, we're the yappers. We're the yappers. Yeah, yeah but your like podcast yappers? is called Blabbermouth. The community okay, but is it doesn't have yappers. to. You know how like you know how like Nicki Minaj like her fans are called barbs like it doesn't have anything to do with her name necessarily i mean blabbermouth like you think of like a blabbermouth mm-hmm. you're like oh like they talk a lot okay well yappers are also yeah. yes talk a lot. the community what about like yap nation <laughs> yap nation yappers that's the vibe here that's the community that's, that we yeah. just put in place. i yappers. am I am a yapper, certified yapper. Certified yap, right. Yeah. Right, right. I'm queen of yap nation. Yeah, I mean. You I'll, can be queen too, I guess. <laughs> you'll kind of have to be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, hold yeah. on. <laughs> I'm Sir Yaps a lot. You're Sir Yaps a lot. I'm queen <laughs> yap nation. <laughs> so right, we're getting caught right. up. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now we're, we're going to get, get Kava. Food. We're not going to get Canes because yeah. she's doing the Red 40 diet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to say i um, honored to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. Love these girls. Follow um, Snigs, Snigs and Swigs, not yes. Snigs with wigs. Snigs and Swigs. Loki Snigs just changed your and- handle. Literally. Point. Okay, but what would I change it to? Snigs like, with, with wigs. <laughs> Bro, that doesn't even make sense. Girl, bye. I'm, yes, doing, I, I, I'm doing like coffee reviews and like bar reviews. They're like, where's the, where are the wigs? Like, you what? can just trick them into thinking you have a wig on. True. <laughs> you can have a baba. A baba. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, you gotta go. Snakes, thank okay, you so, so much for so being after- here. Yes, thank you so much for being our first Thanks guest on the yes. pod. I hope you guys liked her. We love her. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Spotify, mm-hmm. YouTube, TikTok. TikTok. We have the film on TikTok after this. Oh, love that. Yeah. Ooh. You can film it at Kava in front of everybody. <laughs> She's that's, like, no. Problem. I love it. That's on brand for us. Let's do it. Yeah. That's very on brand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's like, I'm, I'm a certified yapper. Oh, okay. She's a yeah. certified yapper. Yeah. Right. Right. We right. have to do the bye. We have to do the bye. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.